Mysteries of Hagia Sophia The 1500-year-old temple The meaning of Hagia Sophia is, holy wisdom. Today, this facility is still a great mystery with its secret passages, symbols, interesting angel depictions and stories that have been the subject of many legends. Get ready now. We are going to take a 1500-year-old adventure. 10,000 workers worked in construction for five years. When it was opened for worship in 537, it was the largest temple ever built in history. It is believed that Emperor Justinian told, Solomon, I have passed you, by referring to Solomon's temple in Jerusalem. For long years, it was claimed that there was an underground tunnel network under Hagia Sophia. In 1998, these tunnels were visited for the first time, and they were recorded. These tunnels are a part of an interesting spiral indeed. They were even mentioned in the books of Dan Brown. Some parts of the tunnels were so narrow that you need to crawl to go on and there are larger venues, hidden working rooms, tombs, and crypto chambers that belong to mysterious owners. The most interesting part of the tunnels, which lie 30 to 40 meters below, is that you cannot find your direction easily once you lose it. So far, the exact length of these tunnels is still unknown. It is because most secret passages were blocked by Turks during the siege. There is a sentence in Inferno, Dan Brown's book, Search for the Traitor, the Venetian Duke, who chopped off the horses' heads. Who is the traitor Venetian Duke? This man is Henry Dandolo. He conquered Istanbul in 1204, 250 years ago before the Turks. His tomb is in Hagia Sophia right now and you probably walk on his bones as you walk into the facility. His personal belongings and armor were also in Dandolo's tomb. As it is known, Fatty the Conqueror admired painting and he especially appreciated Italian painters. He gave Dandolo's armor and some of his belongings to Italian painter Bellini, who portrayed him. This is a serif angel. We cannot say that it looks very loving. It was last seen by Sultan Abdulmakit and the Swiss architect Gaspar Fassati, who restored it before its face was covered. It is believed that the seraph angel with six wings is one of the guardians of heaven. The most impressive aspect of the frightening expression on the angel's face is that it looks like it is looking into your eyes no matter where you look at it. According to what Evlia Celebi told in his travel book, the painting was not uncovered in those years, and those who see it used to bite their fingers in amazement. Well, have you ever heard Istanbul has 15 talismans? Romans placed talismans in various parts of the city for various purposes while building it. For example, Sembrilitas or Arcadius column are some of these talismans. Today, the columns, which are in Serapasa, were mentioned in the travel book of Evlia Celebi. According to what Evlia Celebi told, the fairy-faced statue at the top of the column screams once a year, and all the birds around pass away. Of course, we need to remember that the Evlia Celebi fictionalized mythological legends in time and space. Another important talisman, which is known as the 14th Talisman of Istanbul, is the four-column monument with reliefs of Azrael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Michael. According to the belief, there will be richness in the east when Gabriel flaps and famine in the west when Raphael flaps his wings. A hero will be born in the north when Michael flaps his wings and a plague epidemic will start in the world when Azrael flaps his wings. However, there is something interesting. These talismans are built on the ley lines in the world. Ley lines are the lines that the magnetic lines of the world pass through. They are parallel and meridian-like systems that are referred to as good and bad energy points. For example, the pyramids of Giza, important temples in history, and Istanbul talismans are built on these ley lines. 
What is more interesting is that ley lines were introduced in the 1920s for the first time. However, other great temples in the world that were built on ley lines were built thousands of years ago by pagans. How could they know this? This facility was built as a Christian temple, but it is obvious that the builders still have pagan beliefs. For example, you can witness Poseidon's trident, which was depicted in some parts. It is believed that these depictions are crafted to protect the facility from earthquakes. There is also a Holy Grail depiction in the temple. The Holy Grail is one of the most important myths of Christianity, and some people believe that it is hidden in Hagia Sophia while others believe that Hagia Sophia itself is the Holy Grail. Hagia Sophia is not just a place for worship but also it is a set of symbols. For example, its architecture was designed as square. The square symbolizes the earth. We see that people on the paintings on the walls step on square boxes. This means, my feet are on the ground and my head is in the sky. The dome is the symbol of the sky that surrounds the world. Here, something is written. Both the Byzantines and the Ottomans thought that it was a crack in the marble. However, in fact, Havdan was here, is written. Havdan was a Viking commander who visited Istanbul. He probably got bored while watching a pagan Christian ritual and wrote this sentence with his knife. However, it is still readable today. There are also dozens of delusive stories about Hagia Sophia. Since we are talking about the mysteries of the facility, we need to check them as well to be objective. It is still a common belief that the door of Hagia Sophia was made of wood from Noah's Ark. However, all the wood materials used in Hagia Sophia were made of oak trees, which were brought from North Africa. These beliefs are beliefs that survive to the present day and are believed by Muslims but not only Orthodox Christians in Byzantium. The construction of Hagia Sophia was completed in five years, which seemed impossible for that period. According to a legend, besides thousands of workers, who worked in the construction, this was achieved with the help of spiritual workers, i.e., genies, giants, and fairies. Giants, fairies, and genies cut various colored marble columns in Kaf Mountain and brought them here with the order of Prophet Solomon. The pillars of Hagia Sophia were also built here. One of the giants hit the marble and left his hand mark by saying, Let me leave my mark here, which that mark remains in the marble in Hagia Sophia. However, many hand and foot marks such as this one are available in the historical works of that period. These are the remnants of pagan belief and the kind of signatures of emperors who built them by taking the mold of their hands and feet. In other words, no fairies, giants, or genies are involved. According to another claim, the dome of Hagia Sophia was constantly being collapsed and could not be built again in the years when the Prophet Muhammad was born. As a result, the Byzantine ambassadors said that there is a prophet in Arabia and requested the permission of the king to visit Mecca. Prophet Muhammad spit on the soil in Mecca and told that, use this soil in the construction, it will not collapse again, thus, Hagia Sophia was never destroyed again. However, the truth is different. Hagia Sophia, we know today as the third Hagia Sophia. There were two smaller Hagia Sophias, which were built in the same area. They both were badly damaged due to looting and fires. Hagia Sophia was built in 537 and the dome collapsed in 558, i.e., 21 years later. The last dome of Hagia Sophia was built this year and it was never damaged again. In other words, the last dome construction in Hagia Sophia took place years before the birth of Prophet Muhammad. Another claim is the number of doors in Hagia Sophia increases or you discover a new door every time you count them. The fact is all the doors in Hagia Sophia are recorded to the finest detail and they are regularly maintained. 
This magnificent facility served in the coronations of kings for 1,000 years. Today, it is one of the most important architectural structures in the world, and every year more than 3 million tourists visit the facility to witness the greatest structure in the world. Well, did you know that 90% of Istanbul residents did not visit the interior of Hagia Sophia? I guess, the Turks love to live with the legends in their dreams rather than witnessing the historical reality. You can subscribe to our channel to enjoy more content like this. Thanks for watching.